people drive by this Dimension does not have power steering. That thing is awesome. Oh, I get killed in the end. <laughs> Here's a cold start in 70 degree weather in the deuce. sound to let you know that the air brakes are pumping up but since I've been driving around yesterday we still got uh, pressure so that means we have brakes so we're gonna put that brake on parking brake down now this is high gear and uh, we want low gear Let's put that there Here's a walk around of the 1971 AM General M35A2, also known as the Deuce and a Half. This Deuce, uh, the reason why I bought it is because it's pretty much never been demilitarized, aside from the gun that is a uh, fake 50 cal. Uh, I've done some research on it, and this Deuce was last assigned the 1st Battalion, 144th Field Artillery Service Battery in uh, Burbank, California. I bought this out of Las Vegas, Nevada. I've always wanted one since I was a kid and I always thought they were kind of cool, but the thing is just so massive it'd be hard to do uh, major maintenance on and restoration work, so I decided to buy one that was already finished. And this one's got everything I've ever wanted. It's got the uh, PTO winch, the canvas top, uh, the machine gun mount was definitely an extra. In the back here you can see it's got a uh, panel hook and I do have a deuce trailer for it. Now all the uh, bumper markings are pretty much made up. This is part of uh, its serial number and then this was original to the truck. I bought this out of a uh, museum collection and it was originally desert tan when the, the previous owner bought it. Now mine does not have the uh, snorkel kit for the intake, this just has a standard one coming right up out of the fender. Here is the PTO winch, and also from research uh, we know that this winch was installed on the deuce before it went to the military. So it is an original winch truck. So that thing runs off the uh, engine RPM. And this is the glory right here. That is an original Deuce machine gun mount. 
And if you have a machine gun mount, your deuce also has, pull that down, this uh, reinforced plating in the cab. So when you're shooting the gun, it doesn't warp everything. So to use the gun, you fold the seat down, you take the uh, canvas top off, and then you've got access. So you can't have a hard top and a machine gun if you want to use it. The only thing that's pretty much been touched with is uh, this 12 volt inverter, which I really like. You can charge your phone and run pretty much whatever you want. And this deuce also has a uh, radio system in it. So the uh, driver passenger can talk to the gunner while they're on top of the vehicle. It's got this headset with uh, this box. There's another box down here. There's one up there for that headset. And this is the main control box. I don't know how to work any of this stuff yet. I'm uh, still trying to figure that out. But if you do flip some switches, you can hear some static noise. So there's all the uh, deuce uh, identification information. It's got a glove box in here. Actually, a pretty decent sized one. You can fit quite a bit of your arm in there. You don't see these in Cadillacs anymore. Oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Now this deuce has been painted uh, with the same military green I painted my Jeep with. It looks like 33070. But it's uh, it's set outside out in, there in the uh, Nevada area so that's why it's pretty faded. Here's the antenna mount. I do have the antenna in the bed of the deuce. I just don't know if the antenna will clear the uh, door to the shop so I haven't put it on yet. Now we also have a jerry can mount. Pioneer tools with the spare tire. So here's the uh, parking brake in it. We've got a heater. We have air conditioning. And that is the uh, lever to run the PTO winch. So, move the chain out of the way. You flip this up, then you're able to move it. That's more of a safety lockout. Step behind the non-power steering steering system. You see we've got all of our uh, switches for controlling the vehicle. This thing. If you need some uh, additional air conditioning, Boom. We have vacuum wipers. A loudspeaker. Heater controls. It's pretty much got uh, all the bells and whistles. Another nice feature on this deuce is that uh, for six wheel drive, this has an air shift transfer case. So when you want to engage the front wheels, you flip that over. And then when you're done with it, you flip it off and you hear the air escape. It's uh, a more valuable system than the spring style transfer case. So this one, it's uh, kind of interesting, the shift pattern. It is a five speed, but fifth gear and fourth gear are separated or in different spots. See, the idea is that uh, you see fourth to third to fourth, then fifth. Because, I mean, truthfully, there's only seating for two and a half people so if you're running down the highway you don't want this shifter to be up here in fifth gear you want it to be up there now they also made high range sit right up here so it kind of defeated the purpose of that some people have been wondering what the uh, hole is on uh, this so that is to keep it in neutral there's a little pin that can lock in there uh, so that it doesn't uh, stay in gear or something or get bumped and start it up. And oh yeah, we've got a spring seat, baby. Check this out. In the bed of the truck, we have a full canvas uh, canopy going on. 
I still haven't cleaned this out yet. This, these are the uh, soft top pieces for my trailer along with the canvas. You got some miscellaneous ammo boxes. This is a front drive shaft to the truck. I still need to install that. And this is for uh, heating up. This is a multi-fuel engine. So if you're going to run uh, cooking oil or whatever, you need to preheat the uh, gas tank. Then when you're in the parades, you just uh, kick out these legs right here. This whole bench folds down and you've got uh, troop seating. So my idea here is that a uh, CJ two-way of some sort with the windshield folded could drive right up in the bed of this. I'm going to install a winch up there so I can winch them up into the bed of the truck because I don't want to take the risk of driving them. And then I can use the deuce for picking up junk or going to an off-road park or something. Here's the engine bay of the deuce. My first world problems are that I can't open up the hood all the way because it hits the gun. So this is an in, uh, inline six. I think it's about 130 horsepower uh, turbo diesel. And the turbo is not to add power but to clean up the exhaust on the truck so they don't bellow black smoke. Uh, there's the heater system for the truck. It's got horns. Right, it's Pretty much got everything ready to rock. It, I mean, it does all right for the size of the truck. I mean, it's not going to be uh, smoking tires off of it, but it gets the job done. You can run down the road comfortably 45, maybe 50. 55 with a tailwind is uh, really revving the engine out, so don't want to be doing that too much. I know it's got a new radiator in it and uh, some miscellaneous oil seals. The uh, museum did before I got a hold of it. We can hop up here to the uh, gunner. This thing's pretty cool. Got uh, some bullets glued onto here. So this whole ring actually spins around. You just grab the handle down there and then uh, you can sit up here and play with this. I don't know what that is, if it's a fiberglass or something. Here's where the batteries are located. So this is a 24 volt uh, system as are uh, most military vehicles. So it's got two batteries linked together. So those are just sitting under the cab. Here's a deuce trailer. Nothing special. I think I can uh, fit a Jeep in here with a little bit of modification. And here's my Jeep trailer with all my uh, spare tires and rims for the deuce. Some of these are like new quality, some of them are a little dry rotted. Now I am uh, selling the two Jeeps that I shipped from Vegas as well because I bought those to pay. This thing came in on a low boy all the way from Las Vegas. So flipping the Jeeps will pay for that. So I essentially got the deuce delivered all the way 1800 miles to Indiana for free. But there she is. The most practical and practical vehicle you could own.